Uh, for a presenter of the final award, we've stepped outside the industry. We've remained true to Los Angeles, however. I'd call him the town's most distinguished son. He achieved the miracle of peace in Palestine. He won the Nobel Prize. He is now one of the large figures in the United Nations organization. It is an honor for all of us to hear from Dr. Ralph Bunch. Mr. Astaire, members of the Academy, ladies and gentlemen, it seems to me that there is little, if anything, more that needs to be said tonight. This brilliant occasion speaks impressively for itself, and no words of mine can add any luster to it. The run for the Oscars is a memorable experience, and I am greatly privileged to be here tonight. It's inspiring to see outstanding achievement rewarded in this vast and highly competitive realm of the motion picture in which art and industry are so happily combined. To excel in the utilization of the most powerful and effective mass medium the world knows must be extremely satisfying, if only because of the great social significance of the medium itself. It is imperative to our way of life that this great medium be kept fully free as the press, radio, and television must be. But in our society, freedom always must be accompanied by sober responsibilities and obligations. And I need scarcely stress how vital it is that the motion picture industry not only be directed toward democratic objectives, but conduct itself always democratically precisely because of the universality of its appeal and its impact, the United Nations looks to the motion picture and to those engaged in the industry for constructive and understanding assistance in achieving ultimately a world of peace and brotherhood. The United Nations itself, of course, is not without its drama and its comedy, and yes, its acting, too. Without calling any names, it is apparent that we have had some made-to-order heroes and villains, and I fear that even a trace of ham could be found now and then in United Nations meetings. We in the United Nations are bold enough to believe that with persistent and undismayed effort, and with the help of people of great goodwill everywhere, honorable peace can be achieved and secured, and brotherhood can be made to have everyday meaning in the lives of all men. And now, to the business at hand. Nominations for the best film of 1950 are the following. All About Eve, 20th Century Fox. Born Yesterday, Columbia. Father of the Bride, Metro Goldwyn Mayer. King Solomon's Mines, Metro Goldwyn Mayer. And Sunset Boulevard, Paramount. May I have the envelope, please? I am happy to announce that the winner is All About Eve. To Dallas Zenick, of course, come to the stage to accept awards for the best motion picture of 1950, All About Eve. 
This picture received 14 nominations for Academy Awards this year, setting a new record. Thank you very much. I've said it all, and I want to thank again everyone at 20th Century Fox, and particularly, I want to thank someone that you've already well rewarded tonight. Thank you, Joe. It's time for the trumpets to sound the long salute to the film achievements of 1950. The Academy thanks you in the audience and you listening over the air for your interest in good pictures. It is a high privilege to serve you. Good night. <laughs>